Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial. So in this video I'm gonna show you how you can run Linux command in the Cisco iOS operating system. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first as you can see here I'm connected to my Cisco router. So here I'm using secure CRT which is a paid program in order to get an SSS it's this is each session to my router, but you can use whatever program you want. For example, you can use the free one and the most widely used called Putty, okay? But here I'm using Secure CRT for convenience, but this is not very is important. So here, actually, as you can see, I am on the prompt of my Cisco router. So. Let me show you what version I'm running. So the famous command to run in any Cisco router or switch is show version or the abbreviation it's shver. Okay. So here, as you can see, I'm running Cisco iOS. Uh, this is router C880 series. Okay. But the most important thing here is I'm running Cisco iOS version 15.5 okay so here you have to remember one thing in order to execute actually a Linux command inside iOS you have to have at least version 15.1 so remember that in order all that work you must at least have version 15.1 okay so here I have uh, information about the iOS and also the interfaces that I have on my Cisco router, but that does not important. Okay, so in order to activate actually the Linux command inside iOS, you have to enable what we call shell. So in order all that to work, you have to activate shell. So. For example, if I want to run a very famous uh, Linux command called uname. So this command, if you execute it in inside a Linux box, it gives you information about your operating system, about the kernel, about a lot of things. Okay. So here, before activating shell, let's try to execute this command. So if I tap here uname and enter, I get nothing. Okay, as you can see here, it translates into the domain server, so it doesn't recognize this command. But you will see shortly that when we'll be activating shell, this command will work. So, in order to activate shell, what we gonna do? Simple, you have to go your config mode. Okay, so configure terminal. So now you have entered the configuration command mode. Okay. So you execute the command in order to enable shell, shell, space, processing, and full. So this is the most interesting command that you must execute in the configuration mode in order to enable the shell and therefore to enable the Linux command inside iOS. So I will hit enter. Here we go. Now I have activated the shell. So let me clear the screen. Here we go. So now let's try our command that we have executed before and that wasn't recognized. So I will type your name once again. And here we go. Now I have an output. So normally inside a Linux machine, you execute the command your name minus a to get full information about your box or about your Linux distribution and here we go so now i have the model of our cisco router which is 887 va okay and i i have also the version of the ios ios 15.5 so it's cisco ios software and bunch of information like the technical support and copyright and so on okay so now when we have activated actually the shell now we have access to not all the functions actually of the Linux but 
some functions of the Linux operating system can be executed inside iOS, okay? And of course, you can get the full list of, this, of these functions. So if you want to see all the Linux functions that we can execute inside the iOS, you can just type show shell functions, okay? Here we go. So now, as you can see here, I have a bunch of functions that we can execute inside the iOS. So for example, here you can see the function cat, which is a very famous uh, Linux command that we can use in order to output data. Okay. So here you can see cat output data from a pipe or file to the terminal. We have also the cat which is edit piped output. You have the echo. In order to display some data, we have false, we have fetch, and we have also our function that we have tested before, uname, print system information, okay? We have the WC, which is count lines. So all these functions, we can use it inside our Cisco iOS. And now I will show you some pretty nice, actually, examples in order to illustrate it that okay so let me clear the screen here we go so a very famous command that we use all the time in the cisco environment either with the router or switches is to show running configuration so we use it like that show run and it displays the running configuration of our cisco system so here we have uh, some information about uh, the running configuration. We have the interfaces that we have. So here we have four interfaces. We have the VLAN interface. And we have some simple configuration. So normally, for example, if you want to just get to filter something, you use actually show run and also with we pipe it to include just the line you want to include so here we type include or enc or just you can type include and here you want actually to print the thing that you want to access so for example i want to see for example the line okay so here it gives me all the lines that contains sorry that contains this keyword here line okay so we have here four lines that contains the keyword line okay we can also include for example the fast ethernet so for example let me just show the run here we go here we have the interfaces so let's for example i want just to output of the this interfaces to show how many interfaces that I have okay so I can do that using the include and here we have we type interface for example in order to filter just the lines that contain interface here we go so you can see here it outputs all the lines that contains interfaces okay but here remember one thing if I type the same command and for example here I tap F with the capital what we get you will get nothing as you can see here because include is case sensitive so it distinguish between upper cases and lower cases so you have to make pay attention to that but here we have used just the most convenient or the most famous iOS command. Where are those Linux command as I told you? Here I come with a very interesting command is actually the grep. So we all know the grep command in the Linux world. And now that we have activated shell we can use this grep function. Okay so I can do the same here but here I will just type F with lowercase here we go we have the same input okay but you will told me okay I can use include instead of grep I will tell you yes 
but there is an advantage of using grab for example I will show you an example here with include let's say I want to include for example interface and also I want to include the line that contains line let's try that I have nothing here okay but with the grip you can use a lot of tricks for example uh, let me grip the interfaces okay here here we go I want for example to exclude the interfaces that have ATM on it how can you do that with the include you cannot do that you cannot for example make include interface then exclude because exclude is also a command that exists in iOS exclude for example ATM okay so you can see this command is not functioning it displays me also the line that contains ETM but with the use of the grip I can fulfill that so I'll show you how so simply here you replace the grip the include with grip okay and for the exclude you replace it with grip minus V which is here V stand for invert so it will actually exclude the term ETM so here as you can see on the output I have no more this lines contains ATM 0 okay so before when we are using the include it still exists but with the help of the grip minus V I get rid of the ATM okay so here you can see the power of the Linux commands okay and also as I told you the include is case sensitive but the grip you can use actually uh, switch minus I and it will become case insensitive so for example if here I tap with capital F I will get the same input because this minus I actually tells the grip not to be case sensitive here we go and I get the same result because I used minus I okay I can use other commands also very famous in the Linux world for example the head command so the head command displays just the beginning of the show running configuration here we go so here actually it displays all the six lines of the configuration uh, system here with the help of this Linux command head so remember all this command head grab and I will show you more will never exist if you don't activate the shell okay and also a very famous command also is the opposite of the head it's tell which also displays just the end of the configuration here so you can see here it has displayed the end of my configuration and of course my configuration is like that so the beginning is this here is the here last configuration current configuration this is the beginning of my configuration and the end is the end actually keyword so with the help of the head and the tail I can actually get the beginning of the lines or of the configuration file or also the end of my configuration <coughs> I can use also a regular expression with show run I can use grep and for example I want to display all the lines that begin with a character with interface so I can use this uh, carrot here so this character here means the beginning so here I will just filter for the beginning of for example something that begins with ENT like the interfaces 
okay so here you can see it has showed me all the lines that begins with this keyword ENT I can do the opposite if I want to display the line that ends with something for example 0 all I have to do is to add the dollar sign okay so it will display the line that ends with 0 here as you can see okay and of course you can get more information just using this show shell functions in order to see all the functions that you can use in your iOS and all these functions are Linux functions okay and one last thing you can get more information about a function about a Linux command as in the Linux world you just type man man for manual and you type for example the command that you want to use or you want to get info about for example the grep here we go it gives me here uh, uh, information about this command so main grep it gives me information about the grep function that I can use in the iOS so here the grep command matches lines in the given file I can do the same for man for example cat which is also a very famous Linux command okay so you can play with that as whatever you want I can for example pipe the show running configuration I will type it to this NL which gives me line numbers here we go so now my configuration has line numbers okay so you can play with that whatever you want whenever you want okay so one thing to remember here if you want to activate this Linux command you have to activate the shell and in order to activate the shell you must go to your configuration mode and type shell processing full that's the only command that you must remember because all the other Linux command is very famous and you use it all the time in the Linux world so that was just a brief introduction how to use the Linux command inside iOS as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye